finished up about 3, 3.30. So, I mean, and then, uh, what were they doing to drag their feet? What were they doing? Well, I mean, there's, uh, I mean, I've seen, I've been, I've, I've had my truck loaded many, 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 many times. I understand there's a lot of parts on there. And yes, there's a lot of parts on there. But I've seen people load up my truck with that many parts in, in 30 minutes to an hour. They were just slow as molasses. So, and I didn't go out there and, and I told him, I said, don't worry about it. I'm doing my 10 anyway. Well, that just made them slower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you gave them permit. You gave them. wanted to talk about the sun under the moon. And, uh, so they were talking about the big belly on there and I told them how big belly has uh, evolved I said because I've been driving truck for 30 years and I've always just eaten everything that I want eating out truck stop whatever eating a hundred candy bars hamburgers you name it chicken barbecue every kind of thing you can think of I mean that that's what it was all about gobbling up everything I could eat well I ballooned up to about 250 pounds and uh and I just had this big belly everywhere I went. Just big belly. I could just set my arms on my big belly. So anyway, uh, and then I started noticing that I had ammonia smell. And it was really bad, so bad that it was burning my eyes. And uh, I wasn't feeling very well. I was feeling weak and stuff, so I made an appointment to see the doctor. Found out that I had stage three kidney disease. And I said, well, I said, all right, here I come. I'm going to heaven. So, and the Holy Spirit said, I don't think so. <laughs> That's just like committing suicide. You're, you you got to take care of the temple of God. Oh, man. <laughs> so, so anyway, so I started uh, dieting and, uh, I did it wrong, and my skin was getting really crepey looking, and uh, my hair was all fried. I, I looked like I was 70 years old. I mean, I looked horrible. And I was like, man, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And so uh, I went back to just eating the way I was and gaining the weight back. And I wasn't any healthier. And uh, so I, w I watched uh, this guy and uh, Dr. Eric Bird. For four months, I watched him and just watched him and watched him while I was driving down the road. I'd listen to him and listen to his programs and stuff. And it finally all stuck in my head, and I decided that I wasn't going to do what he was. I mean, he just basically vegetables, but uh, uh, I'm not going to eat just vegetables. So I, I, I understood what he said, stay away from sugar and carbs so and don't eat past nine o'clock and don't eat the next day until 12 o'clock and when you do eat you make sure it's good food and it's nutrition and you're gonna have to take nutritional supplements because when your body's in the fat burning mode it takes a lot of energy and nutrition to burn the fat and it will take the nutrition out of the body it will take it out of the skin out of the bones out of the eyes out of the hair and uh You'll, you'll start looking really bad and you will be in bad shape if you don't get enough nutrition. So you have to make sure you're, when you're in keto that you get plenty of nutrition. So so I put it all in practice and uh, and I, I, I went from 250 pounds down to 100. I think I went down to 155 and I, I thought, wow, this is just too little. I don't like that. I mean, I know I was 155 when I was younger, but I didn't like it, so I, I immediately went up to 165, and I was like, yeah, I'm liking this better. And so I decided to, from that point on, just keep myself between 175 and 165, and I've been doing that for oh, a year or two now. And and I went in to see the doctor, and uh, uh, they did test on me, and he said, well, what are you here for? The kidney disease was gone. I didn't have any more kidney disease. He says, well, you know what? That's a YouTube channel right there. <laughs> I go, well, 
I bet it, it's it's in our YouTube channel. That's what the big belly comes from. But we can't just talk about losing a fat belly uh, every time we have a video. So, but uh, I said, and then Ruthie got uh, close to getting diabetes, and she was overweight, and uh, her ankles were swelling up. She's getting all unhealthy, and so she had me for an example, and uh, so now she's practicing eating healthy and she's lost a lot of weight looking real good doing uh, doing real good so Aww. she's about to break off. she's about to get into the 80s he goes well, that's really good the one i, I said it is really good the 180s <laughs> the 180s well, that's what i meant yeah got to break the 80s mark yeah yeah from to whatever it was Last May, 50, I was 240 last May. Last 240 May. last May. Yeah.